What's up everybody, it's Ivan with Trout Supply Fishing back with the bi-weekly fishing report and forecast for December 12th. Uh, as expected for December it is winter. Uh, sometimes that means it's cold, sometimes it means it's colder, sometimes it means it's not so cold. And we're about to enter one of those colder periods. Uh, seeing some snow up in the high country, seeing some lower temps over the weekends, bringing some low pressure systems in and then I think it's going to clear out and start to get a little bit more mild for uh, the winter time uh, into next week. So uh, with that in mind, uh, let's talk about fishing on the tailwaters and free stunts. Let's start with free stunts. So I would expect with the weather coming in, um, you know, specifically going into early next week, see some lows in the low single digits into the negatives. Now that's probably going to impact fishing. Uh, water temps are going to you know, drop pretty significantly. Uh, so I wouldn't expect the free sense of fish terribly well uh, into the beginning of next week. Uh, but as they start to warm up, uh, once we get towards the uh, end of next week into the beginning of the week after, uh, I would expect that fishing should start to pick back up and um, there's going to be more periods of time, more hours in the day where you'll get productive fishing because the uh, water temps will allow it. So, um, Fly choice, whether you're talking about free stems or whether you're talking about tailwaters, is going to be pretty similar. Uh, you know, midges, bluing olives, attractor patterns, eggs. It's going to be your main ticket. You can certainly crawl streamers down low. Uh, you know, try to pick up some fish uh, that still might be willing to eat. You know, a smaller, smaller fly, small flashy fly, um, and certainly. Uh, can pick up some fish and certainly pick up some nice fish that way. But for the most part, it's going to be nymphing. You will have some opportunities at uh, dry flies. Um, but on those free stones, most likely that won't be happening uh, until mm, the end of next week, beginning of the following week. So uh, on the tailwaters, duckers bumped to like 170. Uh, 11 miles been fishing well from all reports. Dream streams uh, flows are pretty decent, but I've heard some mixed reports on the dream stream, which I mean, it's not surprising. Dream stream can be. Uh, a fickle beast this time of year, so um, one day can be good, one day can be not as good, and the difference can be, you know, depth control or, um, you know, small decisions in fly choice. Sometimes the dream can get super techy, so it is what it is. But <clears throat> Deckers and Cheeseman have been fishing really well. Um, 170 is a fantastic flow, uh, and fish are super happy, and they're actually holding in some faster water than you'd expect. Uh, you know, eating eggs specifically, so a lot of that water is flushing some of the, you know, some of the things that have been recently deposited by good old brown trout and rainbows and browns downstream are enjoying that. So eggs are always a good option. One seven, I don't expect 170 to stay, it's to stay 170 uh, at Deckers and Cheeseman for throughout the entire winter, but who knows? I'm, I certainly don't manage that water, but I would expect it to drop, but 170 is obviously a really good flow. Less so for the winter dry fly fishing, more so for super productive moon fishing. So eggs, midges, blue wings, managing line, managing your depth, making sure your uh, drifts are good. This is when you can start to really hone some skills and work on your drift because generally fish aren't gonna move that far for a fly this time of year, although I've seen some pretty outrageous things, specifically in Cheeseman this time of year, but um, for the most part, they aren't going to move that far for your fly. So you getting the presentation right on your first cast and making sure you have a good first impression on those fish uh, is certainly going to be uh, a positive thing to put fish in the net. So that's it. Uh, I suppose next time I'll be seeing you, it'll be damn near Christmas. and. Uh, Hope you guys are enjoying uh, December, getting out and enjoying some time on the water, and getting away from those ski crowds, and uh, maybe enjoying uh, throwing a cast or two, putting a couple of fish in the net. I know I will be this weekend, uh, and for every foreseeable weekend for the rest of my life, hopefully, you know. But let's talk about December. December should be pretty decent fishing for the for the winter time. Uh, no terribly cold days, other than this upcoming. Uh, you know, a couple days up in the hike that it'll pass and uh, good fishing will be on the other side. So, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. See you out in the water here in the shop.